Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Today I want us to study a little bit from the book of Matthew chapter 6. We dealt with Matthew chapter 7, I presume that was yesterday. Um, Matthew 7, 7, but today we start from verse 6. It teaches us a couple of things that um, our Lord Jesus Christ wants us to know with respect to how to go about our walk in Christ here on earth as it concerns other folk on our Father. Verse 1, King James Version. Take heed that you do not your arms before men. So in essence, he's saying, don't flaunt it before people to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. So he's saying, in essence, that if you do good deeds to get the attention of men, that you've wasted your time before your Father. He says, you would have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Verse 2, Therefore, when thou doest thine arms, is now telling you how to go about when you're doing good deeds. When thou doest thine arms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. So these ones, the, the ones who make a public show of their good deeds, are just empty sounding gongs they're trying to get glory from men it says that's all the reward they will get they will not get any tangible spiritual benefits the father is not going to bless them for doing that he says but when thou doest arms let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth in essence it should be done in secret says that thine arms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, so he's now, that's with respect to doing good deeds, and he's now saying, okay, with respect to prayer. If you look at that, he teaches us again the same thing, do it in secret. It's not something that you come to flaunt before people. You're not doing, for, doing it for the benefit of people. That those who do it for the benefit of people are like the hidden. That it, that's, okay, let's, let's, let me, let the scripture explain itself. It says, but that when thou prayest, sorry, and when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as a hypocrite, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the street, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. So, doing it for a public show, to get accolades of men, you're wasting your time. He says, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. So your business is always between you and God, and it's God that rewards you. Not, you don't get accolades from men, it's God that rewards you. If you do it to get accolades from men, that's all you get. You, there's no blessing attached to it. Now, if you go further, he also now talks about when you fast. He says, don't make, don't make a loud proclamation about your fast. Do it in secret. That your father would also reward you openly. If you do it with the intent that you want to make a show before men. I know I can, I, I'm fasting. I'm, I'm fasting. I fasted for 20 days. I fasted for 40 days. You have, that is the only reward you will get from people. They would hail you as a master faster. But what was the purpose of the fast? If it was a spiritual purpose, you've wasted your time. Don't be caught up like that. Go and study this book of uh, Matthew chapter 6 and you get good enlightenment. God bless you. Hallelujah.